kind of difficult to introduce. It's called Agni. I, and what is that anyway? Hear your voice, rambling, clear. All is as it should be. All is holy, mm. all is perfect. From the leaf on the pine tree to the way in which the off-licensed shopkeeper looks at me, lost, cold, middle-aged, folded. All is blessed and divine, from the lasting moonshine to the fiery-haired wife poisoning her newborn on a Sunday morning in May. This is no invocation. This is no equinox. I perceive your voice as agony waves hello. From my typing fingers to the wooden table beneath and the fire beneath and the carbon dioxide I exhale to the great grandfathers and their mothers, the banana peel on the concrete, the argument between two lovers, from the blue of your veins to the macroatomic levels of an aubergine, from the spit in her throat to the blood on her hands, to the shimmering, shivering birch bark. All is holy, all is divine. Press, rewind, hold, play. Don't pin it down, don't hold back. From the untouchable letters on the cover of your notebook to the undisrupted anger within it, always. From your nephew's laughter, white with euphoria, to the blue socks of the homeless outside the deserted train station. From what makes everything everything to what makes nothing nothing. Everything is nothing and nothing everything. All is divine, from the tears in your mouth to the mountain's slow song, from his golden diamond to her solemn still soliloquy, all is perfect. From the fog around the river banks to the dysfunctional vanilla player, from the deafening noise of a fly flapping its wings furiously, to you and I and him and her, all is blessed and all is divine, all is holy and all is as it should be.